Hi there guys, my name is David. You are watching Vivo Automotive and this is Supercar Sessions. Supercar Sessions is basically me going through these posh areas of London, trying to locate and photograph some of the rarest, coolest and most expensive cars out on the streets. All cars are given points based on their price, exclusivity, as well as my own perspective. One point is for all the basic supercars, three for less basic ones, five for hypercars and ten for the rarest of the rare. It is my second day here in London and I'm in front of the Dorchester Hotel and let me just tell you that the parking in front of it is pretty, pretty insane. And there is a Porsche 918. So I didn't even have time to take pictures of the cars in front of the Dorchester because a Porsche 918 Spyder just passed by and it is finished in a very similar spec to the one that I've seen yesterday but it was a different car with different rims and all that. So yeah, that's a pretty good start uh, to today's supercar sessions. All right, then here we are back in front of the Dorchester. And I mean, it kind of reminds me, the lineup of cars here kind of reminds me of like 2016, the sort of golden days of car spotting here in London. Because starting off, we have got this Pagani Waira Roadster, one out of only like 100 cars, 150, something like that. And this one over here is undercover. It's been here for the past month and a half, but it is finished in this uh, sort of dark red with these black rims and this beautiful carbon fiber here in the front. Next to it, we have got the Lamborghini Huracan Performante finished in matte orange then the Ferrari 812 Superfast and then next to it we've got a normal standard 812 Superfast so we can see that here we have got these bits of carbon fiber whereas on the normal car there's nothing there really but finishing off we have got with the Pagani Waira the Senna is for sure the most interesting car here in front of the Dorchester just look at this car I, honestly I'm not really sure if I've seen it at the McLaren Technology Center if it was a different car but this one over here is finished in this sort of grayish blue with these contrasting uh, red bits and pieces I have no idea what that was, but I guess uh, just London things, just, you know, a casual convoy of like 10 Rolls Royces. So, I'm back at the Ferrari F40 that I've seen yesterday here in this exact street. And the reason why I'm back was because yesterday I was here only for a few minutes because I was chasing after the Monza SP2. So I didn't really get any good shots or anything like that. So um, I'm here to get some cinematic shots of this car and just have one more proper look at it. And I mean, come on, who wouldn't have one more proper look at a Ferrari F40? This car is just such an icon. And here on Mount Street, we have got this beautiful Pista Spider, which is usually parked up in Belgravia, finished with this Italian stripe and uh, finished in this dark blue. Here at Chester Square, we have got the second McLaren Senna of the day. This one over here I've seen previously. It is finished in this dark green with these orange bits and pieces. Uh, the owner sort of resides partly in London, partly in Monaco, hence the Monaco plates over here. And yesterday, he had this brand new Porsche GT3 parked over here as a Ferrari 488 just passes by now. That's very cool as well. Anyway, the Senna's over here and the fact that this is the second Senna of the day and it's not even like 3 p.m. means that this is going to be a pretty, pretty insane day because all the supercars and all the hypercars seem to be out and about.
I have made it in front of Harrods and the hypercar streak today continues because there is this beautiful Bugatti Veyron. There are only 450 Bugatti Veyrons in the world and this car over here is one of them. Uh, this Veyron over here is the first iteration of the car, the 16.4, uh, hence the 16.4 here. This car of course has the famous 8 liter W16 producing 1001 horsepower. This is the first car to reach the 1000 horsepower mark back in like 2005. This was also the first fastest car for quite a bit. One thing that is interesting about the Veyron that not that many people know is that this exhaust over here is not the only exhaust on the car because then there are sort of these two uh, side exhausts also hidden in the diffuser. If we go and have a look at the front, I mean I absolutely love the spec on this 16.4 because it is finished in this sort of uh, bright uh, blue and this car also has these updated lights which only came on later models of the Veyron so I think that's a beautiful touch that sort of separates this car from from the rest of the Veyron 16.4s and it has also got this beautiful beautiful uh, light beige interior with this sort of chrome in the middle which is on all Bugatti Veyrons Guys, all the hypercars that we've seen today thus far were super cool, but the coolest one just now arrived here to South Kensington, and it is this Lamborghini Sian, one out of just 63 in the world, so let's go and have a closer look at it. I have not seen a Sian on the road before, so it is just great, great seeing it here parked. Uh, I mean in South Kensington, just look at it, the spec is beautiful as well, finished in this light silver with these red details as well, Lamborghini badge here in the front, and the door is open, which means that we can have a look in the interior as well, and as you can see, it is just a standard Lamborghini interior, but of course this car is way more special than all of the other Lambos out there. You can see the carbon fiber paddles here as well, and of course the infamous Lamborghini start button there in the middle, what a special spaceship this is. The last thing that I would like to point out here in the interior is, of course, this one out of 63 badge in the middle, just kind of reminding you, you know, how rare and limited this car is. And then here in the back, you've got these completely unique hexagon lights kind of placed into the carbon fiber. Hexagon is kind of a Lambo thing, you know, Lambo just goes with hexagon. You can see that here as well, sort of surrounding the exhaust. That's sort of its design element. So yeah, this is the Lamborghini Sian, one out of just 63 in the world, worth around, I don't know, like two or three million dollars. Just an absolutely insane, insane price and a super special and unique car to see here in London. So I mean, what a great day this has been thus far. Guys, look how many spotters arrived to see this car. I mean, when the doors are up, everyone is just here <laughs> enjoying it and taking pictures and whatnot, which honestly, I don't blame them because this is an absolute spaceship. Guys, so the owner of the Sian was kind enough to give me a ride. So we are now going down Sloan Street here in London and it is an absolutely surreal experience with the spotters here in front, the sound of the engine in the back. I mean, this car is a hybrid, but it for sure sounds like a normal Lambo. I mean, it's... Yeah, see? Guys, over there across the street, we have got Rana's new Lamborghini Huracan STO finished in the Iron Man spec, but I'm honestly too lazy to cross the street now and I'm headed to Mayfair. So instead, I'll show you the car in one of the upcoming Supercar Sessions episodes. <laughs>
when we were on Park Lane, we have heard this car leaving the Dorchester Hotel and we thought that it was the McLaren Senna that's parked in front of it, but no, instead, it was the even cooler Pagani Waira Roadster. So just an absolute cherry on the cake of today's supercar session. The Koenigsegg 1 to 1, the Pagani Waira, this beautiful cherry red uh, color. And now I'm here on Mount Street where there is uh, this uh, sort of uh, dark red Ferrari SF90 Stradale as well. Just an absolutely amazing supercar session today and probably the best out of the past two or three years here in London. So here is the Ferrari SF90 Stradale. I mean, I've seen a pretty much identical spec car in Monaco. That one was from Romania. So if you haven't seen the episodes from Monaco, go and watch them uh, right now. This one over here has got these yellow brake calipers, these sort of beautiful rims. Then there's this thing passing by. I don't even know what that is, but it uh, seems quite interesting as well. The cool thing about this spec are these uh, carbon fiber bucket seats, which are finished in red leather. I kind of like that, even though I'm not really sure it uh, you know, really matches with the exterior paint over here. All right, guys, so this is everything for today's Supercar Sessions episode. Thank you very much for watching, and what an amazing episode this was. We've seen like seven different hypercars, which even in London is just absolutely unheard of. So if you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more absolutely insane episodes such as this one. But that is seriously everything for today. Thank you very much, and hopefully see you next time.